the Yes Boss. Imagine this. You're working as a registrar, a specialty trainee, and you're preparing for your next six-month rotation. So you contact your new supervisor, your new boss a few weeks prior by phone. You've not met her before. You understand that she is reasonably new to the hospital. You want to introduce yourself and also ask a favour. It's your best friend's wedding, the Friday and first weekend of the new rotation. And you've promised him you will attend. You haven't had leave approved. You're expecting that you might have to plead your case. Surprisingly, your new boss says OK immediately and even suggests you should take the following Monday off as well. After all, it is your best friend. You're now looking forward to working with your new boss. You're not used to bosses being so incredibly obliging. It's now the first week of your new rotation and you go to meet your new boss. As expected, she's incredibly nice to you and you have a good feel about this upcoming six months but then you start to notice something. It's not just you that your boss seems to be saying yes to. She seems to say yes a lot. She says yes lots to the patients and families. She says yes lots to her colleagues. She says yes lots to the other team members. And these yeses seem to be impacting on you. Suddenly you find that a lot of these yeses mean more work for you. After your long weekend off, you find that your resident has disappeared all of a sudden to go to a conference, at your boss's approval. You have so many more patients to look after because your boss has agreed to cover other bosses' take days. Your consult list for other specialties is rapidly expanding, and you are starting to make enemies with the outpatient secretaries because your boss wants to book more patients in than there are physical slots for. This is the Yes Boss. As a trainee, they initially seem to be a great pick. For the Yes Boss is always happy to help and more than willing to help you get your days off. But then the work starts piling up because the Yes Boss doesn't just say yes to you, they say yes to everyone. And as a member of their team, that means you having to do a lot more than you think is fair or reasonable. How to recognize a Yes Boss. This is the boss who says yes to anything and anyone because they seemingly don't want to upset anyone. They leave you frustrated because a lot of these yeses mean you have to do extra things like an extra day on take, reorganising a theatre list or negotiating with a frustrated secretary. How can you own it? Why might your boss be saying yes a lot? Could it be that your boss is very new to their role? or just new to the hospital? If so, they may be wary of establishing credibility with their peers and teamwork. And the best way to lose credibility is to say no too much too early. So the yes boss may be very receptive to a friendly conversation about feeling new and unsure in their role or the hospital. Initiate the conversation. Do it in a psychologically safe space i.e. somewhere private but friendly, maybe over a coffee. Try to keep the agenda simple. Focus on what is of most importance. Practice what you're going to say beforehand. Be friendly. Thank them for being such an obliging boss. But also show empathy about the newness of their situation and make it clear that you are happy to support more firm decisions, like saying no occasionally. Your boss may very well appreciate the offer. And make it clear what you need to get your job done and what you may need from a boss. Making the impact of your boss's behaviour on you known to your boss will be important. It will help them to understand how they are performing and impacting on the team. 